Hi Pisces, this is your March reading for 2018. So let's just get to it. Pisces for the month of March. What can you guys expect for the month of March? Pisces for the month of March. Pisces for the month of March. The guides are just showing me you guys are a little bit restless uh, mid-month. So they do want you to find a regiment early in the month so that that insomnia doesn't take over and, you know, uh, cripple you by the end of the month. So <clears throat> lots of restlessness, um, lots of desires coming up. And uh, just to, just remember to not allow that to sort of rule you, your desires and that restlessness. Find your center. They're talking about you going and touching the ground, finding a grounding practice that really works for you, Pisces. So let's just see. Pisces for the month of March. Beginning of the month. Beginning of the month's looking actually quite good. You know, you're very determined, you're following your heart, you're staying objective. You're keeping balance, Pisces. I'm really impressed to see this with you guys. I feel like the full moon in Virgo is really benefiting you guys. Um, that's on the 1st of March. And um, the, the one thing I will say is you're not, uh, you know, you're keeping all the balls up, you're juggling all of the all your responsibilities really really well but you're forgetting one one component which is yourself and again that just goes back to what the guide said taking care of yourself at the beginning of the month is super super important important so um, I do see you know you searching and that the desires again coming up quite strong around the fifth sixth and seventh even eighth of March so, um, you know, you're just going to feel like this stirring kind of feverishness. Um, and this is when you really want to get your yourself grounded. And they're talking about you guys getting grounded in a different way, like through water itself, like through the bath, um, for example, like taking a nice bath, um, even going swimming, you know, wherever you are, depending on what part of the world you're in. It could be outside, it could be in a pool. Just something about water is very grounding for you guys, which, you know, makes sense since you are a water sign. And also the beginning of the month, there are quite a few signs in Pisces, so that that energy of water is there already. So finding your center through swimming or in water is what the guides are saying. Let's see the sec uh, the mid month. What's going on for Pisces? So leading up to the new moon, you're going to be struggling a little bit, and this is why uh, again the guides are saying like take care of yourself at the beginning of the month. So there's some illusions, you know, you have to smash through. There's some power leaking out. Um, just feeling like, you know, you're disempowered a, a little bit and that your plans aren't working out. But after the new moon, which is in Pisces, um, on the 17th and the eight, and um, the 18th, some planets come together as well, Mars, Pluto, and Saturn, and Capricorn. After that whole thing passes, on the 19th, I really see um, you becoming like stepping into your power and especially in terms of work on the work front and just feeling like this sense of like I can do anything like I'm unstoppable like you get this really almost cocky attitude uh, that 19th 20th 21st around the 24th you're gonna again feel like it's sort of what they're showing me is like you're doing this during the month so after around the 24th you're gonna really recognize like oh man I need more sleep I need to meditate I need to like go in nature and you're just gonna have this like sense of burnout around the 24th and I really feel like you're really sensing mercury retrograding at that time like it pulls things out of you 
So it retrogrades on the 23rd, and you're really going to be uh, sensitive and aware of that energy shift, particularly around the 22nd, 23rd to 25th. That's going to really uh, affect your energy more so than any of the other signs I noticed uh, or that I've done already. So let's see the end of oh, the end of March. What's going on for Pisces at the end of March? Pisces for the end of March. So as you know, there's a Libra full moon coming up at the end of March on the 31st. So it's the second full moon in March. It's another blue moon. Remember in January there was the two moons as well on the 1st and the 31st. So with that I see like an epiphany happening for you. The moons in, the full moons in Libra. So um, that epiphany is going to bring to light your real deep darkest worries and concerns. Um, your fears around your career and not being able to manage the manage uh, the challenges within them, your fears around your past wounds controlling your life. I do feel like you take the those fears and transmute it into a positive um, place by clearing out all of the those energies like I see some of you really just saying you know what like this is coming up and I'm just letting it go um, uh, you're, you're still not in a place at the end of the month to fully trust um, especially for those of you in relationships to fully trust uh, to be in a relationship or to trust your partner I should say um, so I just want to make sure that for you, Pisces, I haven't missed anything for the month of March. Again, just showing the up and down, um, you know, but ultimately, you know, you're, you get pretty balanced. You really end on a positive note. There is some bumps along the way, but for the most part, you know, it's looking, it's looking pretty good. I feel like you're really, um, if you can get that, those desires, and if you can remember yourself in the equation of being awesome and really using the moon energy to you um, to utilize um, renewal of your plans like to um, improve them and listening to your intuition and your guidance I think is going to get you through this month just fine um, also leave room to celebrate that's part of taking care of yourself I hope that that helps you guys for this month you can check out my weekly videos uh, I post them every Wednesday and also I will post again probably around the end of March for April and if you feel like this video helped you um, share my videos with your friends family whoever and uh, you can also schedule a reading with me all the information is below I do in person on the phone or by Skype reading. So subscribe to my channel and I hope that that helps you out. I'll also be posting some more topic videos and videos where I interview awesome people. Um, I'll be doing more of those. So check that out and take care.